Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It is September 12, Tuesday, and it is 2017. Coming at you live uh, from my uh, special room in my home. And today we'll be talking about a subject matter that should connect with a few people. Uh, almost all of us know somebody in our life that has an anger issue. And today I'll be talking about the root causes, the spiritual root causes, and the spiritual answers for this significant condition. Anger is certainly not something that is um, easily addressable by the traditional approach in modern medicine. They don't really know what to do about it or how to deal with it. Um, you know, they try to give people uh, pharmaceuticals to calm them down. <clears throat> but um, for the most part, people with anger do not seek <laughs> support. Uh, they don't even think they have an anger problem. Uh, people with anger are very often um, completely um, uh, lost, blocked, if you will. And so we'll be talking a lot about that today as we go through this. So if this is something of interest to you, you're just tuning in, flipping through on one of the groups, um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve you. I encourage you to stick around and watch this. If you have to run, then I would encourage you to uh, subscribe and um, uh, like me on my Facebook page, and then you can always come back and watch it uh, whenever you have the time and availability. Okay, let me adjust the camera just a little bit here. Good. So we've got a lot of folks jumping in today. Yesterday was a very good teaching as well. And uh, last week I taught on the subject of fear. Tomorrow I'm going to have a special guest. I'll tell you about that a little bit. And um, I'll be talking about something tomorrow, the opposite of hate. We'll be talking about love. And... Um, Love is something that starts, it's an inside job. And so there is a guest master that will be joining me tomorrow, assuming I can figure out the Zoom Facebook uh, communication. Um, so I'll be inviting a guest master on tomorrow to, uh, to go live with me. And uh, she'll be teaching in the Master Shah Dao Healing Center this coming weekend in Honolulu. So this is a calling to all of the students that have been following my live streams to attend this weekend's uh, live stream. Um, it's a free Friday night and a, and a full weekend. But uh, I will drop in some more information on that later and also of course I will be dropping that information in tomorrow when I do the actual live presentation. So for now, let's see who's joined us. <coughs> Aloha and welcome to Dana Knapp. Welcome also to Kathy Arnold. Aloha Vanessa. Aloha Tiffany Ann. Welcome to Susan. Aloha Sarah. And welcome Zilke. Welcome also Crane. Aloha and welcome uh, uh, Kathy Andalusa. Great to see you here. Welcome also Dan uh, Martino. Welcome Suki Singh. Welcome also to Leandra and Vanessa. Aloha Nebadita. Aloha Jose. Haven't seen you in a while here Jose. Good to see you. Welcome Sanjita, Aloha CJ, and welcome also to Vanessa George, Aloha Shelley, and welcome also to Angie Taylor, and um, Alexandria Darling, welcome. Also welcome Robin Toth, welcome Rianne, welcome M.A. Drade, and Athena, welcome Elizabeth, uh, Marie and uh, and Aloha Kathy Arnold. Welcome, Dove, uh, and welcome, Linda Jansen. Excuse me if I missed your name. Thank you all for sharing. Kristen uh, may or may not be able to do much sharing for us today as she's changed to a new location, different island, and is in between uh, internet feeds. And so she said she's going to try to join my phone, but she won't have the same abilities, I don't believe, to share as she has before. Uh, so she'll probably be joining us shortly. Welcome to Jane Youngblood. Thank you for sharing. Aloha Wayne Cohen. Welcome also to Arlene Watson. So today's subject is on anger. Uh, but before we move deeply into that, let us go ahead 
and uh, give Facebook five more minutes to grab a few more souls while we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We do that by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is like a prayer. But we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand connects to heaven, allowing heaven's energies to flow through our hand into our heart center. This is a hand mudra position. Close your eyes. We're going to invoke all the beings of light. We're going to invoke the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony and ask it to serve at this time. So dear all beings of light, serving the planet of the light side, our beloved creator, the divine, God, Buddha, all the beings of light, Jesus, Mother Mary, angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters, and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, and saints, all of our spiritual mothers and fathers, we love you all, honor you all, deeply appreciate you. We ask for your presence today for this live stream. We ask you to come to sit in our heart centers and guide each and every one of us to make better choices, to um, comprehend the origination of anger, move towards compassion for self and others, and activate and apply the wisdom and teachings that will be shared today that we can help others to release theirs in a healthy and balanced way, to stabilize and move into calmness, and to support ourselves with our anger to release those blockages accordingly. I ask that the highest wisdom that heaven has on this subject matter please come to me, that I uh, share this wisdom in the highest and best way to reach the most souls. Do the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you to please come uh, to please serve each and every one of us to help us release our anger, latent anger or current, and to uh, serve. As we chant love, peace, and harmony, please gather more souls that we can serve and help us to join our hearts and souls together. So I invite all those that are watching to chant if you know the music, the song. If you do not, it is a mantra that is a healing mantra, so you can make a request and blessings will be sent to you accordingly. This request can be silent, you can just request it to heaven. So let us join to offer this service and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin ha ling, wo ai tu ren ren lei, wang li hi rong her mu shi shang, shang ai ping on a xie, shang ai ping. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Let us chant to sing one more time. Receive the blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, xian, ha, ling. Wo, ai, tu, ren, ren, lei. Wang, ling, rung, her, mu, shi, shang. 
Shong I ping on a say, Shong I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those that have just joined or are new, that's called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. And its purpose is to, of course, calm us down, which it does. It's a healing mantra, uh, and it is in currently over 43 languages. And you can download it at lovepeaceharmony.org. Uh, those who play it in their home and environment actually uh, find dramatic shifts in their life. So, um, also welcome to some of the people. Uh, Arlene Watson, welcome. Welcome to... Um, Matthew O'Hara, welcome Janice, welcome Tina Yates, Aloha Becky Lafave, welcome also to uh, Denise Lamonaco, welcome Kate, welcome also to Laina, Laina uh, Augusto, welcome Francis, Aloha, welcome also Lisa Zarniak, thank you all for hitting the share button, you know, the other people know about this, welcome also to Carol, and if any I missed your name, forgive me. Uh, welcome to everybody. Thank you for coming to today's live stream on the subject of anger. What is the spiritual cause and answers? There are actually some unique causes and answers to the condition of anger. Uh, traditional modern medicine, welcome Allison Turner, traditional modern medicine does not necessarily have any solutions for it other than medication. Uh, so sometimes people go to see psychologists and anger management practices, they are somewhat topical. There has been, of course, success. The percentage of success, I really don't know. I didn't do any homework on that. I imagine uh, it's got to be have some success or anger management probably would not continue. Uh, from the spiritual perspective, there is a root cause for all of this. And I'm going to give a little bit of a, of a wide swath and, and come full circle because there is the obvious, you know, um, somebody gets life dumped all over them and therefore they're angry. Um, there's other obvious variables that uh, psychologists get to work with and those are uh, things like dad was a SOB, a very unpleasant person and uh, um, that person through life did not have any skill set whatsoever in communicating with uh, anything other than anger. In other words, they have a very narrow field of emotional range and emotional expression. And so therefore that's all, of the, all they espouse to anybody in their field when uh, an experience occurs and they don't know how to handle it. There are a lot of different ways that anger has a precursor on the physical level. But there is a spiritual, spiritual root. And what happens when you deal with things at the spiritual root is the uh, response mechanisms, the physical level, everyday response mechanisms have less of a, um, a less of a grab, less of a condition in which they bring to you. Um, one of the root understandings is that everything has a soul. In Master Shah's teaching, everything has a soul. So you and I have a soul, obviously, but so does thoughts, words, and actions have a soul. So does chairs, computers, everything is made up of a creator's energy and matter. Therefore, everything has creator consciousness in it. And the purpose of every soul is to uh, experience life and return to the heart of the creator. So all life has a consciousness and is in the process of evolution, so to speak. And so even a thought, which eventually becomes a physical uh, uh, experience, um, has a soul. And so anger is an action. Anger, anger, anger occurs here 
um, and it has a pre uh, predecessor even to the to the mind. But anger occurs as a thought, uh, becomes an experience, and it actualizes in the physical. But there's a precursor to it becoming a thought, and most people are unfamiliar with that precursor. And <clears throat> when we look at Master Shah's wisdom and teaching, there is the soul precedes the heart, which precedes the mind, which precedes the movement of energy, which then precedes the, the physical uh, activity upon manner. So said a different way, whatever is happening at soul impacts the heart, the heart then leads the mind, the mind says think this way or do this way, which impacts the energy, the impact of the energy then impacts the matter. So if you look at cancer, uh, some people with cancer have significant anger. Some people do not. Some people with cancer um, have, haven't done anything to anybody, but they have it. And so how can that be justified from a, from a physical medical approach? It's very hard to do. We have to look at the spiritual roots. Negativity, uh, uh, negativity creates conditions upon others where they are angry. If we are negative towards others, if we are judgmental towards others, if we are uh, um, gossiping about or towards others, if we put others down, if we belittle others, how do you think they might feel? Highly likely they will feel angry, disappointed, upset. Um, if somebody, if, if you blame others and they didn't do anything wrong, how do you think they might feel? Confused, of course, but also angry. So anger enters our life at the level of spirituality because of wrong thoughts, words, and actions induced upon others, not only in this life experience, but in other times. We have to, everything about this wisdom and teachings is about taking responsibility. If that doesn't jive with you, you'll probably have to go find a different teacher. Um, if we take responsibility for all of the things that enter our life, the good and the bad, then we are on the path of recovery, we are on the path of healing, we are on the path of enlightenment. If we do not take responsibility for everything that enters our life, we can remember, we can basically we just keep our head in the ground and think that it's life's fault, think that it's God's fault, think it's anybody else's fault except mine, heaven forbid. And now we can move forward once we awaken to that. Uh, anger is no different. Most of the time, most of you that are watching, uh, at least 20% of you tuned in because you want a solution for somebody in your life that you care about but has significant anger. And so your perspective is, yeah, but what do I do about them? I, I grasp that it might be uh, um, uh, these conditions and it may be spiritual, but their stuff is impacting me. Okay? Well, yes, that's true. Their stuff is impacting you, but you have to take a look at, at the nature of the spiritual world and how things operate in the spiritual world. Welcome Peggy, uh, Peggy Blake. Welcome Allison Turner. Uh, thank you for your comment, Allison. Welcome also Christina Barker uh, and Barbara Bottomley. Welcome. Welcome Jane Youngblood. Thank you for all joining. Um, when we recognize uh, you came to because somebody else in your world has anger. Now, maybe they're anger towards somebody else and you care about that somebody else. Maybe they're angry towards you or maybe they're not, but they're angry towards somebody in your family. Okay. In, in any case, um, the way relationships work, if you've been in a relationship longer than, let's say, six months, there's a, there's karma in that relationship, meaning that there is uh, transactions back and forth between you and that other soul not limited to this lifetime. If you've been in a relationship with somebody more than six months, relationship meaning talking back and forth, not meaning someone at work, uh, unless that someone at work is really unpleasant towards you, you've probably been in a relationship with them in work environments in which you had been unpleasant towards them. So all long-term relationships, six months or greater, in which there is a back and forth, you have uh, a back and forth of positive virtue and a back and forth of spiritual debt. It's just very simple when you break it down to the numbers. And so that includes those in your present relationship. So if there's somebody in your present relationship that has a lot of anger, or if you yourself have a lot of anger, um, there are the precursors to that. This person that has a lot of anger towards you, uh, of course they have 
preconditions in their life that led to their anger. But why is that anger released upon you? Why is it not released upon uh, the best friend over there that, that they hang out and drink beers with? Why is it not released upon others? There's a reason why anger is directed towards us from others. There's a reason why we have anger towards certain people and not other people. The reasons boil down to our spiritual virtues and spiritual debts and taking responsibility for these. Um, so again, you can address it at the physical level and get very positive results. My recommendation is to address it at both the physical and the spiritual level. According to traditional, uh, traditional Eastern medicines and traditional Eastern philosophies, Um, I will answer that question about if you can't see the person in a minute. According to traditional Eastern philosophies, anger has an association in the physical body in the liver. And so literally you could offer healing blessings to the liver and it would positively impact anger. You could do blessings for the condition of anger and it would positively impact the liver. There, they work together. There's also associations to what's called the wood element. But I'm not going to go too far down that road today. Um, one of the things that's important to understand is that everything has a soul. I mentioned that earlier. And so the soul of that person can be positively impacted, even if they're not somebody you can see and they're not here. The, the soul of their liver and the soul of their anger can be positively impacted. And this includes for you as well as for another. A lot of us actually feel very um, um, hopeless, helpless because somebody angry is in our field and they're impacting us. So our first questions need to be, what did I do to create this? On the conscious this world level, oftentimes your answer is going to be nothing. You know, I just fell in love with the person and, and they're in my life or you know, I don't know why my child is angry at me, but I don't remember doing anything to them. So if we find ourselves in a place where we don't really know what we could have done uh, because we're looking at it through physical this life eyes. As with all of the things that I've taught, we simply need to look at what the experience is. If it's somebody very close to us, a child, adult, a young adult, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a husband, a wife, and they are constantly angry towards us, the solution is asking forgiveness for doing that exact same thing to them. If they're always angry about my stepdad, he was always angry about uh, wasting money. Ah, he was just, he would hit me and break out the belt and he was always angry about money. Uh, if I left the light switch on, you know, he'd come ranting and raging. Now he was an alcoholic too, uh, which is a physical world stuff. But if I knew now what I, what I didn't know then, probably would have made some adjustments. We want to look at how they bring that anger to us. Is it specific to um, uh, your weight? That's a good example, right? You're too fat, blah, blah, blah. Very unpleasant. A spouse might say something like that. Um, we have to look at, did we say something like that to others, not just that spouse, but to others, and how angry would it have made them feel? How angry does it make you feel? How disrespectful is it, right? So I'm just grabbing different examples at this point. But that's part and parcel of it. We can, and I was, I was teaching this to a student earlier this morning, um, they said, well, what do you do if, uh, if the spouse is always angry at the child, you know, because she felt a bit hopeless, you know, what can you do? And it lines up to one of the questions earlier that popped up and uh, about what to do about a person that you can't see or, or you feel helpless to help. You can't talk to them. Obviously, their, their anger and their ego is too high. You do everything at the level of soul. What have I taught you for this last year and a half? Everything has a soul. Soul is certainly not limited by time and space. When I do blessings and, and people's pain disappears instantly and you're over 2,000 miles away, did I offer blessings to you physically? No, I offer blessings to your soul. Your soul released the blockages, therefore your physical adjusted to match the, block, the release of the blockage that occurred at soul. So when you deal with things at the level of the soul, the physical world down here has to make shift. So 
for the logical mind, it can actually be a bit illogical. So what you're telling me is that if I talk to his soul and work with forgiveness practice to his soul, that he will be less volatile towards me and my son? So yeah, exactly. Because you're clearing things at the level of origination. You're clearing things where the blockages are occurring. The blockages have followed this soul from lifetime to lifetime. Maybe it's your karma with this soul. Maybe it's just you know other stuff. But they followed him from lifetime to lifetime. And they're manifesting here, now. And so when you deal with things at the level of soul, which I'll teach you in just a few minutes, you are you know, slowly erasing the blockages where they are occurring at. Okay, let it come back into focus. Um, and naturally, uh, the, the um, condition here on earth will start matching up. Now let's say, for example, we do the practices which I'll teach you. And we wonder how it will play out here on earth because we we don't see any differences right well well i've been doing this practice for one week and two weeks and is he's you know this person is still unpleasant they're still angry well how are you doing the practices first of all um i will guide you specifically but if you're not doing it at least close to what i'm saying you may not be getting enough oomph out of it secondly um this is lifetimes of stuff so you may have to do it for a little while third Heaven is in charge of how it plays out. This is a very important teaching. Heaven is always in charge of how it plays out. And what that might look like is that person that is very angry could have a, uh, an accident. They could be put in a position where they have to depend upon others. Okay, And it puts them in a position where they have to become gentle and grateful. That's an example of how heaven could soften uh, that person's hatred um, or anger. Heaven might play out in a different way. They might play it out where um, conditions occur, where uh, an experience happens to the both of you while anger is being exuded, and it brings a breakthrough, and it brings a heart opening, and a, a deep talking session. And for the first time in who knows how many years, uh, you're able to communicate. Heaven has a very unique way of bringing about the, the way things occur. And hardly ever is it how we expect. Uh, a great deal of our, our irritation in not believing or trusting heaven is our attachment to how things are supposed to occur. But if we actually just do our part, do our forgiveness, trust heaven, heaven always brings it about. But the way it comes about has never ceased to amaze me. Because the way they bring it about is always the highest, best way for clearing the most karma. And, and it's literally clearing strings and strands of five different kinds of karma at the same time. Because that's heaven's intelligence. So, how do we do that? We do that by soul communication. So welcome Linda Iloba, welcome Nicole Mitchell. Uh, welcome also to um, Kayla. Anybody else, if I miss, please forgive me. We do that by soul communication. We invite their souls. So repeat after me. We're going to go ahead and do this together. We place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Welcome, Julia Abbott. <clears throat> and we close our eyes. We're going to invite the souls. Think of somebody angry. Okay? Somebody that has an anger issue. If it's your own soul, invite your own soul. Welcome, Carla. Repeat after me. Dear my own soul, dear the soul of this person who has significant anger that I am thinking of, please come. I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you. I wish to sincerely apologize. You could be talking to your own soul, so that's okay. I wish to sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors in any lifetime caused you such pain and suffering where you had such anger, resentment, rage towards me or others as a result of something that I or my ancestors may have done, 
I honestly do not remember being this way towards you, but I recognize it is a very real possibility given that you have showed a lot of anger towards me. If you're talking about self given uh, uh, that I have shown a lot of anger towards others. I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely ask forgiveness to all of the souls that I have ever harmed and brought such conditions where they had such anger and rage. To you, the soul that I have called forth, I sincerely ask forgiveness. If I have ever communicated, offered wrong thoughts, emotional suffering, offered conditions in which you suffered so many mental anger, mental rage, if I have done things to you physically, emotionally, spiritually, in jobs, in businesses, in finances, where you had such anger and rage, if I have been disrespectful, dishonoring in relationship with you, uh, did not love you, broke vows of love to you, did anything, spoke down to you, was disrespectful to you in relationship, and, and you had such anger towards me, if I have done any of these things at any time, I most humbly and sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Please, please, please forgive me. I wish to offer you, the one who has been angry towards me, my unconditional forgiveness. I now recognize I may have been the one that had great rage and anger first, that I may have created such suffering for you that in this lifetime you have reminded me. If I have been that way towards you and you are now reminding me, I wish to forgive you unconditionally for all the anger you have brought upon me that you have brought into our family, whatever it may be. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you. So this is a form of soul communication. Now, the, the person that asked me this morning was witnessing with this. Uh, of course, this person is angry with her uh, and, and disrespectful to her, but it's also angry and disrespectful to her, her son. So she asked me, what can I do? I said, you call the soul of this person's mother and father and the, person, the soul of this person's uh, your child. And you call all their souls together in front of you. And you teach them this same forgiveness practice. You lead their souls in this forgiveness practice. So this requires you to forego physical world uh, consciousness and faith. It requires you to know and believe that the soul world is very real and that you can resolve things at the level of soul. It requires you to call their souls and teach them the forgiveness practice, teach them love, peace, and harmony, chant on their behalf to help them self-clear their blockages. If you want to know if it works, you have to try it and you have to do it you know, more than just one time because these kinds of high-level blockages take a little bit of time to clear. But there are many, I mean many, 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 many stories of people changing within a few weeks because people did these suggested practices. Now, don't stop once it starts getting better. Continue even more and more and more. The heart will start to open. The communication will start to improve. The blockages will start to clear. Heaven will bring about the highest and best conditions. Sometimes the conditions are that uh, that person, if that person is, is very pivotal and key in your life, uh, uh, like a, a spouse, but uh, the conditions are that you do your practices and such, and that person just can't seem to change, uh, and you really don't know what to do at that point, you've done just about everything, including talking to me and help me working with you, but if you've done just about everything, then it's time to leave, because at that point, you will have cleared your spiritual karmas and debts with them. That's only if you've worked with somebody like me that truly knows how to help you clear your karma and spiritual debts with them. If you've done all that and they're still the same very unpleasant person, it's time for you to disassociate. There's no longer a reason for you to stay. You're actually creating bad karma for yourself if that's the case. Um, because you've cleared up your part of the karma. 
if they wish to be that way after you've done your part, that's no longer your stuff. Um, so there's, of course, boundaries that you have to set for yourself to be intelligent, smart, uh, and don't make mistakes in relationship. But at the same time, you can help yourself and others. I want to focus on yourself now. Let's say you are the one with anger. You are the one with the anger. How do you deal with that? You deal with that uh, using soul power. You place your hand over your liver. Your liver is under your right rib cage. You place your other hand over your heart. You ask your soul to forgive you in all lifetimes for causing such anger upon others that it has come to you. You forgive uh, your whoever is the precursor to the anger because um, the, the, the ones that you're lashing out at, if you're angry, the ones that you're lashing out at, you're saying it's their fault. You have to turn the finger around and say, I am not looking at this from the highest, brightest, lightest perspective. What is it about this condition that has brought this anger to me? Well, I expected this and this and this to happen. I went through the processes of saying da 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 da, so it didn't happen and it happened anyway, okay? But you're still pointing the finger at yourself. It's easy to blame them and be angry at them, but if you keep the finger pointed at yourself and you work it backwards, you, will, you can say, okay, so what it really boils down to is, I had an attachment that it would be done a certain way at a certain time, and it's not. So that means that I need to be uh, communicative in a better way. That means that I need to find out why. Maybe this person didn't do it on purpose because they were spiteful to me because uh, I, I said something negative about how they did the previous job I asked them to do. So they just decided to spitefully not do it. We don't point the finger back to ourselves to realize what triggered my anger. What is the core source of this? We might go one layer deep and say, well, it's because they did this. Well, that's not the real answer. The real answer is inside. You have to ask what one of your mental mindsets, your, your negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs was triggered that caused you to feel justified in being angry towards that person. Okay, You need to look inside. And once you discover it, you need to do forgiveness with self about choosing that wrong approach and, and make a conscious choice to choose a different approach moving forward. I had to do this with my own wife. I would get angry uh, because she wouldn't understand my very clear English that I brought down to a simple level and she still wouldn't understand it. And then I had to repeat myself, which really riled me up, okay? And this is not too long ago, guys. This is just three years ago, okay? It doesn't matter if I had the word master in front of my name. I'm constantly having to grow. I'm constantly having to, to peel back the onion and look inside and say, where is this blockage? It's my stuff. But I would get angry at her. And, uh, and then she would be, you know, on, in a tailspin. And then I had to deal with that. But it was my stuff. So I had to look back at my stuff. What did it boil back to? It boiled back to my uh, attachment of not wanting to repeat myself twice. What did that boil back to? It boiled back to um, uh, my, my attachment to being heard. Okay? And it boiled back to uh, the deepest attachment that I discovered was that I don't like wasting time. I have a significant blockage to wasting time. So I've had to repeat myself twice, I wasted time. Why do I have such good fluence in my language? So I say it right the first time, I don't have to repeat it again. But if I didn't take responsibility and go back to the core, I could still be pointing my finger at her and say, she needs to learn better English, you know, da 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 da. We must take responsibility. The anger stuff is ours. So it doesn't matter if someone's coming back to you or if it's your stuff and you're putting it upon somebody else. Either way, we have the skill set and the tools to resolve it. We just have to go inside and ask a better question. You know, well, what's below that? What caused that? Okay, well, what caused that? When I drilled down to it was my own time issue, then I had to do forgiveness with myself about setting up all these time issues. Uh, 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 everything had to be done, you know, in a certain time. Now, things don't get done. It is what it is, right? Allowing heaven to do things the way they do it. 
but um, I don't get angry over those kinds of conditions anymore. I just worked it backwards. Okay? I doubt psychologists do that. I doubt they just work it backwards to the source. Um, use soul power for these things. All right. If you know of somebody that has significant anger issues, get them a crown chakra blessing, including yourself. Crown chakra blessings are exceptional for clearing the blockages, mindset, attitudes, beliefs, emotional blockages, ego blockages. Uh, it doesn't mean that they flick a switch and all of a sudden they're wonderful, but usually it takes a couple of them to be perfectly frank. But it just just peels back massive layers of the onion, and they're just softer. They're just not as harsh. Um, their rants are shorter. Sometimes they don't rant. Uh, sometimes they just move into a complaint. Um, you get a couple of them, and pretty soon their hearts open enough, and you can actually talk to them. It's just karma stuff. So the crown chakra blessings it clears the karma. It clears it at the level of soul. Then they start reflecting it on the mental emotional level down here. It's not the easiest one, but it's a very important one. So if you know somebody who has significant anger or you have significant anger, do, do the shortcut version. You know, save, save a little money, spend a hundred bucks. Crown chakras are very reasonable. Um, they are truly remarkable. Uh, they only take a few minutes and the results could save you an entire lifetime of suffering. So um, I'm very grateful for heaven giving me these opportunities to learn these lessons around anger and for the question that came to me today from one of the students as it allowed me to offer this teaching to all of you. I hope it served you well. I know you had a couple different questions that pop up. Unfortunately, the scroll doesn't always work, so it kind of pops up as a partial part of the question in the little blue screen. I don't see it scroll through where I see the whole question. And sometimes it knocks me off my flow of communicating to you what I need to flow to you. So now, I'm going to offer you all a, uh, a short blessing. Anger carries a lot of karma, so I'm not going to offer a very big blessing. <laughs> I don't want to get, get zapped here. But I'll offer you all a short blessing for this condition. So sit up straight. You can make the request to go to somebody else that you are thinking of. As my gift to you. And I will use... I will use uh, a specially empowered uh, forgiveness treasure. <clears throat> so um, if it's somebody else you want the request for, invite their soul. Say, dear the soul of this person, please come. If it's for you, yes, tell heaven it's for you. Let me prepare. As appropriate, blessing begin. Lula, Lula, Li. To the soul of love, peace, and harmony. Soul, source, soul song. Please turn on, especially in all of these souls that have come for this practice today, including the souls of those with anger they have invited in. As I chant, please, as appropriate, release their blockages along with the treasure I'm currently using. Lu la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la ha li lu la wo hai wo xian na ling wo hai chuan ran li Wang Ling Rung Her Mooshur Shung Shung I Ping on a She Shung I Ping on a She I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li, 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Treasures, please return. So you are all very blessed with that blessing. <clears throat> I know some of you are new. Uh, I know some of you, uh, some of this information may be a bit, you know, turn your head on its side. Really? Is that how it works? I encourage you to continue to come back and watch. Uh, you may also um, register above my... Uh, my uh, video here is uh, all of my previous podcasts and access to previous videos. I've been doing this over a year and a half, all things soul. Um, and I tell you, all those that apply the practices get results, very positive results. Very, I think I've never not seen positive results, um, with few exceptions when people do something once and then they have a negative mindset about it and say, oh, it doesn't work. Um, if you'd like to know more about the blessings, please contact me through Facebook Messenger or through my website listed above. There's a contact button on it. And <coughs> tomorrow I invite you back. I will be going, um, I will have a guest who is a uh, very powerful master teacher, much more powerful than me. And she will be speaking on the opposite subject matter, the subject of love, okay? She'll be coming to Honolulu very soon. And she is an extraordinary being. Uh, I hope you join me tomorrow. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the beings of light who come respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Aloha, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.